Hello, I'm Susan Levitt, a professional wardrobe consultant and fashion stylist in San Francisco, California. We're here at Wilkes Bashford, a beautiful store in downtown San Francisco. I would like to demonstrate for you and show you color and silhouette. For color, find a color that matches your complexion. No matter what color you are, figure out color that looks best on you. A way to do that is to hold up colors or fabrics that work. For example, I look best in the richer color saturated tones of winter. Even though this is a beautiful spring colored scarf, as you see, it would not be as flattering on my complexion. It might be great on you, but not on me. Whereas if I stick with the jewel toned rich colors, it looks much better. So just stand in front of a mirror or get with your close friend and keep holding up different colors and discern what looks best on you. Also, we gals tend to gain weight in the middle, which I call an apple, round like an apple, or we gain it on the bottom, which I call a pear, you know, bigger on the bottom. Well, neither's right, neither's wrong. It's just a genetic predisposition to be an apple or a pear. So if you're an apple, you don't want to wear something so tight and fitting that you look a little bit preggers or even having the skin belt and a muffin top. A way to avoid that would be to wear a silhouette that is tightest right under the bust and then drapes out. Here's another beautiful Roberto Cavalli piece. See, these would be lovely for the woman who is apple or tends to gain a little bit in the belly. What you would not want lovely as this sheath dress may be in a beautiful jewel tone, not for the apple shape. Now if you're a pear gal, now here's a, the little black dress that would be lovely because as it goes out in what's called an A line, like the letter A shape, perfect for the pear. Also for pears, I love anything belted to show the tiny waist. So us pear gals, we do well by belting to show the slimmer part of the body. Apples, not as appropriate. Another problem women say to me is, oh, I have no bust. Do not get implants. Instead, wear garments that give you a little bit of, you know, oomph up there through fabric. And for the woman who is very heavy in the bust, I'd recommend perhaps a beautiful button-down shirt, but make sure again that it's in a color that's going to be flattering to your complexion. So those are the two tips today. Color, 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 and then everything in your wardrobe will match, and then silhouette dress if you gain here or if you gain here. Thank you very much, and thank you to Beauty Staffs for sponsoring this video.